I saw a post made by one of my state influencer, Mwamba Cheka Mwamba. According to him, he said that he called Ojazi, that is the boy behind KC Oja Piano. And unfortunately, his manager, Ibe Kredo, pick up the call. And according to him, he wanted them to come and perform in his daughter's child dedication by next week. According to him, he said that everything was going on well. The conversation was going on well. Until when Igwe Kredo asked him where is the venue. And he said it is in Abakaliki. And Igwe Kredo hissed. And because of that hissing, him, Mwaba, concluded that it is what he mentioned Abakaliki that made Igwe Kredo to hiss and say that he's going to call him back. Now, I want to make this thing very, very clear. More about Cheik, I know, have already been someone that likes controversial posts. He always wants to be very, very controversial in all his posts. You know, I said it earlier that those of you who are claiming to be defending Ebony State, you people are doing more harm than good. The kind of mentality you guys are installing in some of your followers is not good and it's not healthy for the Igbos. Because you are making people now, now to begin this, to see themselves like as if someone has hated them because they are from Ebony State or as if someone has hurt them because they are from social place, which is not true. Even inside your family, not everybody loves you. Even in all that tribe, everybody did not love themselves there. There are still some people who are also discriminating. If you travel abroad, you will see people that will still discriminate you over there. It is not based on because you are from social place or you are from social place. Who does not like you does not like you. And you should be giving attention to people like that. Now, I want to make it very, very clear. There is no evil man. There is no evil man that will reject doing business with you simply because you are from a particular place. Even if you are living inside cave, even if you are living inside lion's den. So far, it is something that will bring out money. That evil man will go there. That is what Igbos are known for. Anything that brings money, so far it is something that is legal. It does not matter your venue, it does not matter where you are going to be hosting that event. They will go there. And Igwe, or, Igwe Credo and Ojazi Ibo, I know, have attended many, many events in Ebony State. I'm very much aware of that. So how come you are concluding that is because you are from Ebony State that made them to his? The problem here is that you, Mwaba Cheka, Mwaba, you already have this mentality that some people from other southeastern states hate you because you are from Ebony State. And this mentality is what you are going with. So anything you are doing with anybody, anyone from other part of Igbo land, anything the person do, you will always conclude that it is because you are from Ebony State. And that is mentality I want you to remove. Because that is inferiority complex that you are battling with. And it's not good for you. And you are transferring it right now to your followers. They will start believing that someone from Anambra or Enugu or Abia or Imo does not like them because they are from a point state. I think that idea, that mentality should be thrown away. A point state I know today, nobody in the Southeast will, will not want to go to a point. A point is a state currently where everybody wants to visit. So I don't know where you are getting this, your conclusion from. Because I'm not sure there is any state in the Southeast currently that their capital city is more developed than Abakaliki. So why are you spreading this kind of mentality to make people believe that someone rejected coming to come and perform in your daughter's child education because you are from Abakaliki or because the venue is in Abakaliki? Even more bigger celebrities, more bigger superstars from the Southeast have gone for shows in Abakaliki. If someone like Sabinus we even, all the way from Portaco, we even go to Abakaliki for shows, then who is this Igwe Kredo and Ojazi Ibo that are upcoming to now reject it because it's in Abakaliki? My brother, remove this assumption from your mind. Don't just assume. Before you call people out, have a clear evidence. Because this evidence you just, you just put on ground is not even enough for you to conclude that it is because you are from Abakaliki. Let's remove this mentality. Let's remove this mentality that Igbo don't love themselves. Because I have never seen Obi Kubana hating on Baby Oko from Ebony State because he's from Ebony. I have never seen Flavor hating on Tekno or hating on Toranke because he's from Ebony State. It is always the poor people in, this, in, the, in Igbo land that always complain about Igbo's hating on themselves. The rich ones don't complain. They do things together irrespective of where they are coming from because they already understand 
in this life. There is no, there is no way you have good people that you don't have bad people. But it's always the people that can't even, food, that can't even eat three square meals in a day. I will always be carrying this news up and down that people don't love themselves. People don't love themselves as if other tribe, everybody loved themselves there. Even inside your state, even in, the, in that type of state now, there are still some people that are also don't love people from other parts. You go to other states also, it is there, it is like that everywhere. So let's just stop this. Because it's not doing us well, it's not doing us good. <laughs>